everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Season 39, and this is war number 10. And let's see, we're going up against an alliance called Last Hero Standing. Okay. Uh, let's see, they better not have... They did! Oh, They're starting to ban Gallon now. I can't blame them, but that is just so annoying. All right, anyway. Um, fortunately, I do have alternatives, but still. Everything that I love, they try to take away from me. All right, let's uh, spectate real quick here. See what we got. All right. So both of them, not a problem for Namor. Uh, Silver, Surfer. Oh, wow. So we're going to let... Um, the new guy take on Silver Surfer because he doesn't have anybody on his path. They probably figure, oh, if uh, we ban Gallon and then we put Colossus and uh, Super Skrull, sure, that will make it difficult. Wrong. Anyway, then we've got um, Apocalypse. I may bring. Um, titania in just in case we've got claire for that and oh yeah so that'll be nebula hmm i will only claim the uh nimrod one but i'll bring titania in case i'm needed for that apocalypse so we will go in with namor because since they banned gallon Claire and Nebula. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so yes, they banned my gal. That's all right, because they can't stop me. Namor does that path also quite well. So that's who we bring. They probably thought, well, Gallon has an easy time, especially if they put somebody with armor ups on path three. But guess what? Namor can take him out. In fact, uh, during this meta, I usually, uh, if I get the draft uh, in Battleground, I will bring Namor. And if they choose uh to to put up um colossus as a defender do you see what namor is doing to him here that's exactly what he does to him in the battlegrounds except he's a uh, you know more health and all that good stuff but that's pretty much what he does and unless he's being ultra passive or i mess up i usually come out of the fight with uh full health so love Namor for this path, you know, but hey, it's nice to have uh, multiples. I think, um, you know, even if they were to ban Gallon and Namor, I would probably end up bringing um, Hulkling perhaps uh, for this path. Um, but there's other options that I would have too. You know, I got clipped there. Sometimes that happens. Um, I have to fight Super Scroll uh, in AQ and he's always annoying. Always. Right here, I'm just waiting, trying to bait out that special and he was waiting for the falter. That's what you saw him doing. You know, so I just like, okay, I know what's going to happen. Wait that out. Do a swipe, get rid of the falter. And now we can go ahead and fight like normal. But he was not going to throw that special without the falter timer about to go, uh, you know, go down there. But anyway, boom. Done. And as you can see, my health is looking good. So take that, you banning gallon folk. Anyway, um, I was tempted to do this fight but I was gonna let my 
uh, alliance may go ahead and do it. I think he didn't have anybody on his path. So he went ahead and uh, took out that many on to section two. And in section two, I didn't take the uh, mini here, but you guys remember a fight that I had against uh, Guardian? You remember what happened? Well, I was determined in this one not to have that happen again. Now, that conduit is annoying, and sometimes I like to wait until they take the boss down and then I have a easier time. But one of the guys who is a boss killer and takes a lot of the minis is on uh, the left side with me. So I can't just wait. I've got to clear the path, get my mini down so that he can move on to boss island and uh, take out whoever he's going to take out and usually the boss as well. All right. So... Uh, I cycled all the way through, as you saw, and what you're going to see me doing here is blocking, not playing around. I'll fire off my special three after he's uh, nice and empty of power, and I'm going to try not to do five hit combos. That death is still fresh in my mind when she switched. To the uh, poison. I, uh, you know, yeah, she switched out to a uh, poison and I bled out. I was I was so upset. I was so upset. Y'all just don't know. An easy fight. And that happened. So you see? Four hits. One, two, three. Look at that. Three. I'm not even playing around. We are not moving out of blood. Okay? I could have probably finished it there, but I was not taking any chances not dying again on this node not happening all right so down he went not too bad not too bad uh love me some claire ah she's just so versatile now this fight here and you can see my my two alliance mates there they're waiting up there and one of them could have probably taken uh this fight as well the mini but he was honoring the sign-up sheet i called this mini so you know he wants to honor that which i appreciate um but they weren't cleared before i went to bed so um they had to wait until i woke up the next morning uh to clear my path and that mini but sometimes uh, if we clear the middle fast enough and, and we can get up there, I can do it all before I go to bed. So it really just depends. All right, now, the thing about fighting Angela, and you're going to see this, Angela is a tough girl, okay? Um, I did not want to deal with that shock. So now look at this. I'm already at max. Max charges, right? And I'm trying to get her to fire her special off she don't want to fire her special so i'm just going in intercepting finally she threw her special and i'm trying to build up to uh special two all right so here we go boom parry da 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 bam but look at it do you want to know why it was doing that conduit i hate conduit so she was healing up most of the damage from that energy attack that would have killed anybody else but conduit allowed her to survive it. but that's cool you know it'll take a little bit longer no problem but you know that was a little annoying but as long as i'm keep going and look at that she's she's healing and i'm just like you know what i got something for her i know what i'm gonna do I'm going to just build up to a special three. Conduit don't matter then. All right. So that's why you see me right now, you know, building up. There we go. Special three. Let's get it. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Knock. Done. I don't know. You know, I didn't want to build up. I could have probably taken her out faster 
you know, just doing the same thing I did the first time. And uh, even though she was healing up, she would have probably still died anyway. But for sure, that special three took her out. Made the fight a little bit longer, but it is what it is. All right, so now we've got Nimrod. We have done Nimrod on this node. Uh, the only time I died is when I used Gallon, and I still don't know what was going on uh, with his heavy attack and that delay I was um, getting between when I told him to do the heavy and when he would do the heavy. But I never had any problems with Nebula taking on uh, Nimrod here. So stick with what works. All right, so... We're just building up our shock charges. And it's great since he's a robot because building those shock charges up disables him. And I love when he fires that off because it just gives me more time to build up my shock charges. There we go. We're all full. And as long as I push past the special two, he doesn't power lock me because I have enough of the uh, charges. All right. So here we see right there. Look at that. So now I just need to parry him. All right, that failed. All right, there we go. Da-da-da. Boom. Lights out. That's what happens when they're not conduit defenders. So, nice, easy-peasy. And that is it for my participation in this war. Other folks handled Boss Island and the boss. So, we'll be back in a moment. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. That ends our four-game losing streak. Finally. And this war was about as close as you can get. Look, look at the points, guys. Look at the points. This game was a tie. Check it out. The only reason we won was because of the fight duration. That was it. So getting the fights done quickly can make a difference. Shout out to all of our MVPs. But I was worried a little bit because uh, KT1, and if you hadn't heard of him, he's another YouTuber. Um, in their war, they had this same exact situation, but they lost. But they had the faster fight time, so they should have won. I haven't heard whether Kabam is going to do anything uh, for that, any compensation, anything like that. But I was worried that that kind of thing would happen to us as well, but it didn't. We were given the win, rightfully so. So shout out to Last Hero Standing. You guys fought a wonderful war. So that's going to do it, guys, for the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this war. And you all have a blessed day.